Hey guys, my name is Sandy. I'm a homeschooling mom to two boys. They're 11 and 13 years old right now. And I'm gonna go over what we're using for our Christmas unit study this year. We usually do some kind of Christmas unit study and take a pause for a few weeks. Uh, we do continue our math because I do not wanna fall behind on math. But everything else, uh, the language arts and the science and history and everything, I kind of intertwine to make it a Christmas unit study. So this year I asked my kids if they wanted to do like a Christmas around the world or like a Christmas from the Christmas Carol book or a Harry Potter unit study and they chose a Harry Potter unit study. Um, this is with Build Your Library. We are on the third book right now and I'm kind of mixing up the Harry Potter book with Christmas activities that have to do with England or English Christmas activities and snack foods. So let me show you what I've gotten that's extra in addition to the normal book study, and then I'm gonna go over the book study a little bit. So this is the Harry Potter book where they do the tea readings, like they can read their future from the tea leaves. We're not gonna be doing that, but I am gonna be using kind of the English tea idea by pulling in a different flavored tea every day. These are what I found so far. I know there's a lot more celestial seasoning Christmas tea flavors. I haven't been able to find them at the stores by me yet. So this is what I have so far. I've got Caramel Apple Dream, this Vanilla Chai, Peppermint Bark, Ginger Snappish, I've got Eggnog, and I have this Vanilla Spice, and then I've got Swiss Miss Peppermint Hot Chocolate. I picked these up, little Melt Away Santa chocolates, and I've got some Peppermint Marshmallows. So here's the big teapot we use when we do our tea times. And I'm just gonna make a big pot of all these different teas. And I've got some snack foods that we're gonna be trying. I'm gonna do the snack foods and the tea when I'm reading through these books for our daily lessons and also through the Harry Potter book. I don't have the book with me for Harry Potter because I did get the audio version of it this time. So here's some of the snack foods I got. I have a traditional fruit cake which is a very English thing. I found these, I thought they were so adorable. They're shortbread Scotty dogs. This is funny, it says right here, by appointment to Her Majesty the Queen. And I also was able to find these, these little mince pies. I know I've seen Ron eat these in the Harry Potter Christmas scene in one of the movies. So I've never tried them before, I'm excited to try them. And in addition to these few snacks, I have ordered the Harry Potter cookbook. It hasn't come yet, I'm still waiting on it. It should be here tomorrow. Um, we're gonna be doing some of the desserts from that cookbook also. Some other extras that I'm gonna add to it. I found these cute Harry Potter Pez dispensers. I'm gonna give that to the kids one day. We're gonna be using this one day for a craft project. They each have their own Sour Patch gingerbread house. A tradition that we do every year are chocolate advent calendars. So I grew up in the European area of Chicago and growing up we would always have the advent calendars. I would have to go to like the German delicatessen to get them when I was a kid. Um, this you can either find at Aldi or Christmas Tree Shop has it by me. So getting to the Build Your Library Harry Potter unit study. These are the two books that comes with it this time. The Mythical Creatures Bible, it's a smaller book. and Children's Book of Mythical Beasts and Magical Monsters. And this book here, I think it's my favorite book, it has craft projects throughout, and a lot of them are scheduled. This one's to make a totem pole, so I have collected these cardboard paper towel holder things. And then another craft project listed in here it's not really a craft project, it's more like an activity. While I read the story, the children make noise, and I've saved this bottle for that purpose. So I have the unit study in this binder. This unit study is going to continue the weekly profit. I'm just going to continue what we've been doing for the weekly profit already. And here's my schedule for it. I've made my own schedule. I'm condensing it down to a smaller amount of days. This is for a four-week unit study for five days a week. 
and I'm going to do it for three weeks instead. And then like before, you've got the really good schedule that it comes with. And let me show you some of the extra activities that you're going to be doing with this that are different. Something I'm adding to it are these coloring pages here. I thought this would be good to have the kids do while I'm reading sometimes. And even though they're older, they still every once in a while enjoy doing these. Um, you're going to have origin story matchbooks. I guess they're going to be making their own little books for stories that are being read. I haven't gotten to that yet. We're going to be starting this tomorrow. There's something new, Magical Places. Every time you get to a new place in the book, it's going to be a page right up. And then they're going to continue the magical devices from before. There's vocab words. It's an activity sheet. And one of the bigger projects is to make a monster book. Um, you're gonna be, the kids are gonna be making this book and then they fill out different monster sheets. And every day you read about a new monster in one of these books and they fill out their sheet and then they put it in their book. I'm gonna be making my book slightly different than they recommend. They recommend using a binder here and covering it with this furry material. I'm going to be making mine out of cardboard. It's going to be probably a little bit smaller than a big binder. And I found these googly eyes at Michael's. And I found this fuzzy material also at Michael's. And here's the inside page for the Book of Monsters. Here's another activity page. A butterbear recipe, we're going to be doing butterbear, it's listed in this book. And that's pretty much it for all the activities that we're going to be doing for Christmas time. The kids are really excited. Um, I did find an activity online to make a snitch ball ornament, and we might end up doing that. I just haven't found the gold ball yet for it. And also to make those English poppers where you put little toys in them, I might do that too. I just haven't collected everything for it yet. So I hope this video was helpful. Bye guys.